A very good evening to one and all. Firepot AT is a monthly technology session hosted by Fire Corporation where technology enthusiasts converge to discuss and analyze the emerging trends in technology. The sessions aim to provide a platform for both amateurs and experts to keep at par with the emerging te technology tools and technologies in the IT industry. The objective of this interior is to create further tech communities which will enable peer group learning. It aims to inculcate a culture of community of practice for the entrepreneurs, developers and technology professionals where they ignite the art of knowledge gaining and knowledge sharing. Welcome to the 96th ed edition of Firepot 80. First, we'll be having the Tech Byte session where we will be discussing on the technology changes that happened in the last one month. So, I welcome Krishna, uh, Krishna Sharon for the Tech Byte session. Uh, good evening, all. Uh, welcome to Fire 96th edition of uh, Firepot 80. Uh, here I am going to share the tech byte session of the month. So let's get started. The first one. Okay. The first news is Google has announced new updates to Family Link, which offers a range of options and help keep family safer online. So uh, Google Family Link is an app de designed for parents to adjust parameters for their children's device. Parents can use this family link for various options like set screen time limits, set content filter, approve or disapprove app, apps and so on. Okay. In, in a new update on location tab, parents can see all of their children on same map with their device location. Also parents can turn on notification to alert when their child arrives or leave a specific destination like uh, school. The other thing is the highlight tab will allow parents to track the usage of their child device by showing a snap, snapshot of their child app usage, screen time, and recently installed app. From now, it is also available on web, especially for kids under 13 years. This is a great tool to use. So moving to the next one. Netflix add adds 2.4 million subscribers in third quarter globally. Things are looking for Netflix this quarter. The streamer add, added 2.4 million subscribers. Netflix expected a net gain of 1 million uh, subscribers in third quarter. So today result far exceed its own expectation. The company reported earning of 7.93 billion revenue in third quarter. So this will be Netflix's first increase in a while, uh, particularly in US and Canada subscriber base. They also uh, revealed the last week that basic uh, with ad pan would cost $7 per month. So moving to the third one. The uh, iPad OS 16 and Mac OS Ventura releasing on October 24. Apple next generation Mac OS unveiled in June and released on public on October 24. The iPad OS 16 was expected to release last month, but the release was reportedly pushed back due to complication with the development of Stage Manager of iPad. Stage Manager is the main feature of Mac OS Ventura. Uh, it puts the main app front and center on the desktop and tucks the other app at the side for quick access when they are needed. The other feature is the continuity camera to use our iPhone as a webcam. Okay, moving to the fourth one. Apple watch band get price hike in India. Apple has increased the price of watch band in India. Apple watch models over the last few years have had similar size and despite uh, numerous features addition uses would be able to use new, newer Apple, which dials with the older straps or band. The upcoming Apple Watch Series 8 Pro will feature a larger 47mm size and flat display. This model is expected to start at higher price, price closer to 45,000. It comes in both GPS and cellular options. 
going to the last one. One D, electric car uh, designed by Kerala students wins uh, awards at global competition. A group of uh, 19 students from Kerala has built an electric car, got global acclaim. The electric car designed by students of Government Engineering Barton Hill has bagged an award and honorable mention at the International Energy Efficiency Competition. Shell Echo Marathon 2022 held at Indonesia recently. It is a international competition where students uh, from all over the world design, build and test cars. The goal is to build cars with high mileage both in electric and gasoline categories. Uh, the, this electric car is a single seater weight almost equal to 80 kg and speed up to 25, uh, 27 km per hour. It took them almost uh, 10 months to complete the prototype electric vehicle. So, these are the tech bytes of this month. So, thank you. Without any further delay, we can go to our main session. Gurudat Sadanandan is the founder of Video Grammar, a Microsoft-funded project for startups. He is a self-starter who explores the world through the unique perspective of media, technology, and art. An educator by profession, he is gifted in simplifying complex technology and has conducted workshops across the globe for spreading awareness of technology and art in everyday life. Welcome Gurudat for the session. Hello, am I audible to you? So, first of all, are you all Malayalis? Do you want to me to speak in Malayalam or English? <laughs> so, is English fine or Malayalam? <laughs> um, you prefer English? Okay, let's let's go with English. I can switch to Malayalam in between. Okay. So, um, thank you for introducing me. Uh, my, I'm Gurudat. I'm from Kotem, by the way. Uh, I just need to know the audience first so that I can talk to you in a language that you understand. How many of you are like just started your jobs here or you're still studying? Any students in the group? Okay, great. Are you all, what, what are you studying? The areas that you specialize? Yeah, please use the mic. Artificial Intelligence, oh, yeah. MSc. That's great. Where? Uh, uh, university campus, Department of Computer Science. Okay, great. So you love this. Okay. No, just, just speak uh, your own, like where, whatever you are studying. Just need to know. All, all in the same, all on the same uh, class with him. Data Science. Data Science. Okay. Any other courses? I just need to know the, um, the things that you're studying now so that I can help you understand this concept better. Uh, yeah, only two courses? Computer Science what? A BSc, MSc, MSc Computer Science, okay. Any other courses here? Any Anyone who is working in the group right now? Or our students? Okay. You guys are from here, okay. And what kind of uh, jobs you do, like in, in uh, here, you? I'm a Python developer. Okay, one Python, you? Okay, any other? What about you? C sharp. Okay, great. There is different programming here. You guys also will learn about some new technologies which will be very much applicable for you as well. Um, especially for the students, I would like to, I'm going to address them first because they are going to be the main focus of this. But I'm sure you'll also get to know about the new technology that I'm sharing here. Okay, and uh, let's make it a bit more. <laughs> I don't want this to be like a serious session. It, it's more interactive and it's also practical. I, ha I have to show you some demos. So uh, I need to divide the group. Who all know how to code something at all? Like any anything at all? Type something and something will come on your screen. I heard, that I heard MSc <laughs> in computer science, data science and AI. And, and you guys are studying that, right? Anything on screen, 
when you type something comes up yeah, yeah you guys you work i know i know you i know you know the code because you are working i am talking about the students um, because there is good news for you it should it, it doesn't matter it's fine okay so um, what are the codes that you are learning right now in your courses like uh, python okay any other programming languages that you know by interest or by uh, but please please come in so any other languages that you know at all other than python PHP, yeah. Any, any other languages? By the way, do you know the languages? Do you know the names of all the other languages? C, Java, yeah. Python, C++, R, okay. JavaScript, yeah, that is the one that I'm going to share today. <laughs> yeah, any other, any other languages that you know? By the way, do you like them or you hate them totally? First question, is it because of the teacher? Like, how is your teacher? Uh, do you like programming? You guys, you're working, right? Or studying? Okay. Studying. Do you like programming? Okay. Which one you like most? Which language? Python. Python. So you're all Python guys, okay. <laughs> um, I wish I, would, I show you more Python here, but it will be more on JavaScript. Though that is exactly the point, okay? Uh, you don't have to know everything, but you can still learn. Um, and that is what technology brings us, uh, it to us. So let's begin. Before that, um, I want you to divide. How many are there in total strength? Uh, around two, three, six, around 30, right? Can we divide it as, uh, into groups of five or six? Is it fine? Because then it'll be easy for us to do some activities. Uh, it'll be more interactive as well. So yeah. If you choose, then you can choose your friends. If I choose, I'm gonna choose my whoever comes to my mind. So you you decide six of six people. You're all going to get a sheet of paper, okay? And this is not a test, but this is as a group work. It will be useful for you. I hope you all have a pen, right? Something to write on? Yeah, paper. No, no, for one for each group. One will be fine. Is there anyone who don't have a group yet? That guy can join me, whoever that is. Are you all ready? Okay, first of all, write down your team member's name on that sheet of paper, because I want to see. If there, is, if there is anybody that is left, I need to know that person, okay? We're going to form another team. Let's make it quick. Is there anyone left out? Is there, anybody, uh, any, is there a team with more team members than five or six? Maximum six, yeah, seven? Okay, fine, fine. Oh, by the way, the team has to be in a small group. Yeah, you can't just sit like that and call yourself as a team. So come closer, um, rearrange yourself, okay? Yeah, yeah, make a, make a small uh, forms of circles there um, so that uh, you can discuss some things. Yeah, must. Yeah, yeah, if whoever wants to come to this team can come.
Okay, so you guys all know each other, right? Uh, most of you? Fine, let's start the session and we will um, get to know each other better throughout the session. First of all, we are going to talk about a technology, okay? From a company called OpenAI. Um, I will also talk about myself throughout this, so I don't want to talk about it now. So let's talk about this. So it's a technology from OpenAI and one of the first things that they launched was GPT and the third version is now active. Then there is something called Cortex and then what you're going to work on today is your idea. Okay, we are going to do something and go. I want to make sure that you know at least write, to, you know how to write something on a screen. Okay, let's move on. First, first thing I want to ask you is why? You are all studying something, right? Why are you studying that? What is your goal? Like, what do you want? Are you going to do, do a job? Or you're going to start a startup? Uh, discuss in your team right now. I need some answers. You're a CEO? Startup, startup CEO, right? Oh, great. Thank you for coming here. Um, I mean, this, is, this session is actually for startup founders. This is what is going to happen with, like, very soon in this decade. And uh, I want to show you this. Okay, every team must have some answers. I'm going to keep asking. So ask yourself, first of all, ask yourself, why are you here? Like, what, what were you expecting from here? You know that like 90% of, 96% of companies fail in 10 years. So probably the company that you are thinking to join won't be there by the time you enter the, enter the industry, right? Or if you are a startup person, when by the time... I mean, it's so difficult to even take, for example, myself, okay? I am a failure if I call, if I call myself as a startup entrepreneur. I, st I, 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 I had a company, I did a startup, but then I had to wind it up. But my idea didn't fail, so somehow it is still working, but you have to go, th go through that process, okay? Um, so think about that now. You can save a lot of money, time, and resources. That's why I said, do you have the time and resources for your idea. And last one, do you think AI can help you with your idea? So the idea doesn't have to be a startup company. It can be any small thing that you have in your mind right now. I'm sure you all have something, right? Just think about it and as a group, discuss and write something about it. If you write, something will come up, okay? Just don't look at each other's faces. Just start talking. One more minute.
Okay, time is up. Let's let's give your groups a number. So you start with one. You guys are two, three, four, five, and six. So let's start with group number one. Just just say something, okay? Whatever that you wrote down, talk about it. What we are trying to do is uh, uh, we are running a startup called Farmers First Zone. So that's basically based on uh, fresh produce that connecting uh, rural farmers with urban consumers. So two areas where we think A can be support us, uh, one is on the demand prediction side because demand of each and every vegetable that vary uh, based on uh, weekend, weekdays, month and month starting and uh, rain, a lot of parameters can be able to vary. So, and uh, the next area is the yield prediction because uh, in multiple area based on its NPK parameter, pH and everything, its production can be varied on a single crop. So tomato uh, for Nyambara area may be get uh, 2 ton per acre, other area may be 5 ton. So these two kind of prediction we believe uh, can be supported. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to give you answer but you will find some answers through this presentation. Okay. Thank you. Let's go for the next group. Just read the uh, things that you have written down, okay? Don't worry, there is nothing right and wrong here. Just read. So we are currently pursuing MSc Data Science at University of Kerala and we are passionate about computer technology, statistics, mathematics and programming. Okay. So we wanted to secure a job in a field which use these and we believe that completing this course will help us to achieve this. Okay, thank you. Good one. Next. Next group number three, group number three. Okay, we are thinking about an AI-enabled security system. Uh, if we are implementing a uh, security in a remote areas, uh, if we are uh, trying to implement a human security, it won't be safe. We can't ensure the safety. But uh, if you are uh, enabling, implementing AI there, it won't do any dangerous to human life. Okay. Yeah. So think about what do you mean by AI? Is it a robot or a technology? Yeah, a robot. Okay, AI. so see, you have to define it. Now, since you said it, now I'm going to ask you about it. Okay, next group. I mean, there is no need to worry, okay? I'm not going to. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, we're here hoping to get some information that will help us um, try and build our AI future. Because um, at some point, we know we are doing AI. We have some little bit of ideas but we, we really don't know how to implement them. Like we don't have any pathway or anything like that. So uh, the reason we are here is to try and explore ourselves, like try and, and, and understand what we know and what we do not know. And um, after that, we'll be able to like gain some, some, some ideas. We can gain some new ideas even now because uh, I think it's it's going to be educational for us. So I'm sure. Okay, thank you. Are you guys scared of AI? Like something is going to come and you are going to lose all your jobs while you by the time you come out of your courses. I'm just saying, are you scared of AI and its uh, technologies, whatever that is coming now? Pardon, are you saying are we scared? Yeah, Are as, as, stu as students, yeah, as students of artificial intelligence. Um, AI can be dangerous depending on how people use it. So um, I believe we have to be like uh, more careful of what we develop because uh, at some point it will come and harm us. So um, yeah, it can be dangerous. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Let's talk about that also later. Next team. Yeah, just read. No need to worry. Yeah. Uh, so we were discussing about a technology like we can use the images from drones for crowd management. So something like that. Okay, okay, got it. Next one. Next team. Why are you here? Uh, I can't hear you. Can you just keep, keep the mic closer? Yeah. Uh, to know the challenges of beginning a startup based on robotic OS, then to get an idea on how AI can be used to write code in less time. Okay. Thank you. That is the title of the presentation. <laughs> but thank you. Um, 
yeah. So first of all, are you guys believe that you are creators? Like, can you create something? Do you think your parents are creators? Yeah? Yeah, they are, right? What about you? Are, are you guys creators? Okay, what do you mean by creator? Why do you say if yes? Why do you say so? Just, just run random answers. You all, whoever said yes, shout something. Why do you think you are a creator? I mean, what can you create? Do you cook? Yeah? yeah there are very few yeses. <laughs> but uh, what else are you creating? Are you creating poem, poetry, art? Why? Sorry? Content? Uh, yeah, content. Are you, are you any YouTube guys here? No? no. <laughs> so you, you guys play? Like any sport? No? <laughs> what do you do then? <laughs> okay, what, what sport? Don't say PUBG, okay? <laughs> That's not... I mean, it's a game, but sure. Yeah. So, but you, do you believe you are creators? Even if you don't have anything to say now, do you believe you are creators? And like somehow in you, within you, you know, right, you can do so many things. Somehow, maybe you can't do it much now, but still you feel like you can do it, right? Okay, guys, please sit wherever you want. Doesn't matter. But don't go backwards. Okay, come forward and sit. There, there is a sofa here, many chairs here. And we are just starting out. Join some groups, okay? These guys are not sitting randomly. They are all in some group. You can join any of those groups. Or you can also welcome them. Don't just sit there. Just welcome few of them in your group. Okay, let's make it quick. You, you guys sit as a team, okay? Let's make it like six to seven members in a team. But the rest of you join some other people, like some other group. Okay, settle down. So are you guys all students? Uh, what, what are you studying? Data science? Why are you studying? <laughs> you just asked that question and they, were, they said something about it. OK. Anyways, all data science or AI? Anybody from AI? No? So th these guys are your classmates? And you're not giving them any space? Like <laughs> OK. Whoever in the group, come closer. Like I need a small semicircle at least. OK? Okay, so I was asking them a question. Are you all guys believe you are creators? Can you create something? I mean, how many of you believe that you can draw? Yeah? How many of you have drawn something in your life until now? You all did, right? And still you don't believe you can draw. So some... Wh why is that? You, if, even if you did like one stroke with your pencil, you did something, right? That is the same question I asked like with coding. How many of you can code? Yeah, I mean, at least for your exams you might have done something, right? So start, typed something and something came up. So yes, it is there. Okay, we are all creative. Then how do you create? Like, let's take an example of... Uh, um, how, do you, how does your mom cook? Anybody? The ones who didn't just eat also went to the kitchen have seen this, right? How did she cook? Did she, did she just like take it up from the fridge and serve it to you? How, how, what is the process? Yeah, louder please, please. I mean, I just need, just shout some answers, okay? Don't just look at me, I'm not a YouTube video. I'm live in front of you. <laughs> okay, shout. Think of what we are going to do. But I'm talking about mom, you don't worry, okay? okay. Your mom. Yeah, but how did she do it? Like if, if it is your mom that is cooking now, how might have she done it? What could be her process of doing it? Like ingredients, right? And the materials. Do you all? Oh, I'm sure not all of 
you are vegetarians but <laughs> but what are the things that she's going to she's going to get all the ingredients plus all the vegetables or the meat whatever that is and then then just cut you don't clean like there is a procedure right there is a process for everything it's the same with programming right it ha there has to be a process so that is why i want you to work on today you all have some form of ideas but it has to have a process behind it you just can't get your idea straight away you just can't be a data scientist although you want to but it just takes time and a clean set of you know like daily practice or what writing some code at least you know all this thing has to happen for you to become a data engineer and for somebody to even hire you right how do you expect them to hire you if you don't know how to write a code so you have to do something then something has to be done in a particular way how so uh, how many of you live um, like in alone no in hostels most of you so your food is sorted right from by the mess anybody cook Ma men do you cook no none of you okay uh, anybody plan to go abroad after this course okay you guys have to learn Th that is going to come okay <laughs> cuz there is no way we can survive without cooking so because i did that okay um so likewise you can learn you can learn anything you don't have to wait okay don't wait for mom to teach you how to cook don't wait wait for anybody to teach you how to code everything can be learned and you already know many things that is for sure then how how do you anybody seen like um, how sculptures are made like stone sculptures clay clay sculptures right how is it made what is the first process yeah just just say shout loud getting the clay right it's not the the sculpture doesn't form by itself right somebody has to be there but at the same time is it is it for example i think in one of the movies that i saw the the rock exist but then the artist makes a sculpture out of the rock what did he do did the i mean he had to use his tools right but still what happened to the rock he had to chisel out the things that doesn't that he only saw the sculpture in it right nobody else we all saw some rock but after many many days maybe we can see a beautiful sculpture in it likewise with clay you can form any shape with a clay so this shows you two ways of creating something okay you can gather all the things and make something out of it or you can take something and refine or build what you want from it you see so likewise technology also helps you with these kind of processes you can build from the basic or you can refine and make it your own and one things that we are going to learn is uh, about advanced ai technologies and what is happening right now i want you to at least know this okay um because if you know this it will be much easier for you for your future your future i'm not saying after your course is finishing it's now okay and it's it's very important because many things are happening so let's start with this i am sure you have heard these terms in your textbooks large language models can solve every problem that can be expressed with language what is language model any idea what is a model okay so it's more like gibberish right doesn't make any sense um let's see what it it's uh, meant now let's talk about gpt3 so open ai you all know elon musk everybody anybody likes him or hates him okay who hates him you, i mean so, there has to be some opinion right um, or neutral but who is everybody know who is he right who is he tesla okay and he is also and also he's the richest right okay and um, he is talking about ai have you seen like youtube guys anybody seen him talking about ai what was he saying did he like ai no but what ai was he talking about because he is the founder of open ai one of the founders so if you don't like it why did he start something like this he also talk about monopolies of other companies right like amazon google and all the big brands now 
he is very much concerned about ai and its future possibilities but still he developed with sam altman another guy something called open ai so um let me see that slide is okay so it's basically it's a non profit research company um aims to develop artificial intelligence that can benefit humanity as a whole this is their motto founded by elon musk and sam altman in 2015 headquarters in california um now they were there like all these years but they came to the surface recently like most people noticed them last few years even i came to know about that recently only but um that is the story so one of their first technology is called gpt3 if you have notes please take this down because as a student you must know this it's generative pre trained transformer 3 3 means the third iteration which is what is happening right now uh can anybody read this the definition for gpt3 yeah just read you don't need the mic just read somebody i am asking you something Uh, GPT-3 generative pre-trained transformer is an autoregressive language model that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. Given an initial text as prompt, it will produce text that continues the prompt. Okay. Did you understand anything at all? Okay, we will see how it works uh, soon. But um what are its possibilities? Before that, I want to show you what it does. So we can ask it right now okay as a as a group I want you all to write something let's say i i've written as the use cases for this now gpt3 is being used to write books comics uh even papers blogs all can be done okay why because what it does it has the internet as its data source it's going to curate all the data from the internet and it can write as a human do just like we study it can study it and it can write in its own words and those words are much beautiful than <laughs> that we write okay and if we can generate from that that can be used for any purposes so people are doing it for that um and then there is there is another use that is recently most famous for is chatbots gpt3 can understand what you type in you have seen chatbots right in multiple websites but these guys like this technology can understand the emotion what what we are asking and it can give the um the customer what he wants as a reply based on the parameters that we set <coughs> the last one is writing code which we will discuss later but first let me show you something how it works and as a group you come together and see what you want to ask it okay So what you see now is something I created. It's not very beautiful, but uh, it's not the beauty, but what the content uh, that matters. Let's ask it something, okay? Um, what's your favorite story, by the way? Okay. Uh, any story that you like? Uh, any fable story, uh, or even religious story? Just shout, Snow White. Okay, so we'll ask, uh, we'll ask GPT three about Snow White. Okay. What is it called? So Snow White app.
Now when I press this, you'll see how what it comes up. Okay, something is coming, right? Read this, read this. Now you're reading like it like you're in first or second standard. <laughs> we read and check if it is correct or not. You know the story, right? Now this is coming from a server that is in uh, California and uh, because of the prompt that we asked. This text, why is this text is special? Why, why this thing? Okay, one day stepmother gave Snow White a poisoned apple. Is, is it correct? Is it apple? Okay. But then couldn't wake her and she remained asleep for many years. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got something, right? So no, now you know that there is something there that uh, you can ask and it can give it back to you. So ask, let's write down something about it. Ask about anything. Let's see if it is good enough. If this technology is good enough with, for your questions. You can ask about stories, about facts, about the things that you're studying now. Do you have any concern? Like I asked you, right? Are you scared of AI? Ask about, let's ask up all those questions. I need one question from each group. Okay, just discuss and give me one question. Yeah. Story, story, story. On, so, um, I'm going to explain to you that the more clear you are about the question, it's going to give you more good answers. So, write a story. It is going to write a story. But do you want it to be in a specific uh, characters, language, like all those things, or in a country? You know, set up something out of it. Write a story of what? Or about what? Okay, okay. Let, let's see, let's see. So, one second. One second, one second. Okay, don't you love? Okay, I'm, I have a uh, Bluetooth keyboard, so if one person from each team can come here and type. Okay, please come. Ask the AI yourself, okay? I'm not responsible for whatever you're asking and the responses that you're getting. Now, if you write, what you're doing now is called prompt, okay? The AI doesn't understand, usually doesn't understand exactly in a, like we do in a normal 
conversation so it has to be uh, specifically asked like what write about something or uh, write in detail about something so these things has to be added before you uh, clearly type what you want to ask now it's called prompt i'm going to talk about prompts very soon but prompts pr could be your future job okay prompt engineering is another profession for the future so write a story about the girl i hope you all have i mean not just one question okay every member should uh, write at least have, give one question to the team leader and then you choose one from them not one question every member should have one question and the team decide who goes to type and whose question to select okay so once you type come here you just need to uh, press this button like uh, click press you have to press until you get some answers uh, keep keep pressing it keep pressing it so if it doesn't come you ask as ah, i need answer click again ah okay so uh, also you can read because this is your question right oh, you guys uh, listen if it makes sense to you okay write a story about the girl who wanted to go to moon in a world of ordinary there was one girl who dared to be extraordinary she dreamed of traveling to the moon and one day she found a way to make her dream a reality with the help of her trusty rocket ship she blasted off into the unknown on her journey she encountered all sorts of challenges but she never gave up finally she reached her destination the moon she was so excited to be there that she danced and sang all night long in the end she returned home a changed person with a new sense of wonder and curiosity she would never forget her amazing journey to the moon honestly say how would you feel this is something not anywhere right this yeah. is something which creator right the yeah. moment yeah <laughs> so and this is through just a simple prompt right and you don't you didn't know what was coming and something came now if you ask let's say okay you're going to ask the same question again it's going to give you another story <coughs> so if i if i just keep pressing it again okay um now it's going to give because i clicked multiple times it's a different story okay so this is the point each time you ask you are going to get a different output so that means when you ask something and you get something first thing is that you are that creator you own the copyright for that text okay that is your text you can submit that wherever now you, nobody can can copy you because even if the guy writes the same prompt you are going to get or he or she is going to get a different result so this is plagiarism proof okay do you understand the meaning of that students okay uh. so next question is one member from each group come here and type please please uh, let's let's start with this group come if you are shy i'm going to come to your your space and uh, make you type come come let's go oh there is no worry about no worries about spelling mistake because it understand human error <laughs> so so it knows this is part of it. so what you see here is a simple interface i developed but it is actually calling uh, data from open ai yeah gpt3 is the technology developed by open ai Oh, it's not open source. So every time you type something, I'm losing money. <laughs> so everything is credit based, um, and nothing is free. Okay, you will know by the time you finish your course. Ah, uh, okay, good question. So um, Elon Musk, uh, along with some Sam Altman and other guys, formed.
open AI and they wanted to break the monopoly of big companies like what like Google Amazon Microsoft and they developed this thing and they worked on this for years and uh, obviously they need funding and <laughs> the irony is that the most funded company for uh, for these guys are Microsoft <laughs> they, <laughs> they gave like two billion dollars and uh, so in return they have to share their technology and Microsoft developed something called github copilot which you might have might have known like all the tech guys should know there is something called github everybody knows github okay anybody don't know github don't worry it's not a curse but it's fine so github is there you will it's a direct okay once you do just click uh, use the mouse and keep pressing this oh no okay with the read use the mic and read write about how AI will take over the mankind. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence, there is no doubt that AI will take over the mankind. AI will take over the mankind because it will be able to do things that humans can't. For example, it will be able to process huge amounts of data quickly, it will be able to make decisions based on data, and it will be able to learn from experience. As a result, AI will be able to do things that humans can't, such as design new products, make financial decisions, and diagnose diseases. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, we don't need to <laughs> learn more. Next team, come and type something, please. Uh, in the meantime, I will, yeah, yeah. Why are you guys so lazy? Just st stand up, okay, come and type something. Once you come here, just select all and delete. Control A, delete, now type. So uh, there is this question asked, okay? Uh, one guy who is like a great uh, pioneer in AI uh, was very angry seeing Will Smith asking Sophia. Who, you all know Sophia? Okay, Will Smith asking Sophia the same question. Are you going to kill us? Now that person was saying he should be such a dumb man to ask such a question. Because for an AI, our input is its data. He was saying that A had no clue. It was not even thinking about destroying humans until that point, until he asked. <laughs> okay? Now it knows. It knows how it can do that. So, so we are creating our own doomsday, if you say. And at the same time, you can also see the beautiful stories it can write, the colors it can bring, um, the possibilities that we can do. This is another purpose of this session, okay? We can do something about it. Okay. Um, universe. Uh, let's make it, uh, let's make keep the error. Just click on this multiple times. By the left, left button, left button. Left button. Right in Europe, a parallel universe if it exists. Okay, no, no. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. So read, read. Next team, get ready, okay? A parallel universe. Yeah, it's A parallel universe is a hypothetical other universe that exists alongside uh, our own. This other universe may be very similar to ours, or it may be completely different. Some theor theories suggest that our own universe is just one of many, and that each universe has its own set of laws and constants. Okay, that's enough. The rest you can read, uh, but next team, come, come here. Every team, please, uh, let's make it quick so that I want to show you the main thing. Codex is not here yet. This is still GPT-3. You also notice that, right? Spelling error doesn't matter. It understands what you type. Now, when I say it, what, do you, what is an AI? What do you think about it? Like, how do you visualize an AI? What is AI for you? you who are the AI students? Like, AI guys? Say, what is an AI? How do you visualize it? How do you see it? Is it a man, a robot? It's a software? Okay, so how do, if I say manga, you know something, right? Like some, some shape exists, some form exists. When I say AI, what, do you, what comes to your mind? 
okay now you press uh, use this mouse and keep pressing this okay left mouse left mouse and the portable okay ah okay just read you take the mic artificial intelligence is a buzzword that is often tossed around with without a lot of thought given to what it actually means in general ai refers to any technology that allows a machine to learn and work on its own without human intervention while there are many potential benefits to ai there are also a number of potential negative impacts in society society okay uh, so first of all that answers one of our question uh, even it says ai refers to any technology if you don't know this please write this down uh, especially the students of ai um, now it's not over yet if you keep asking it okay one of the biggest concerns just read the first paragraph one of the biggest concerns with ai is that it could lead out to massive un un unemployment with machines able to do everything from driving cars to caring for elderly there will be far fewer jobs for humans tukke kekunnallo le ah this could lead to widespread unemployment and poverty as well as uh, social unrest another concern is that ai could be used to manipulate and control people for example it could be used to influence people's opinion opinions or to spread misinformation ai could also be used to track people's movements and activities which could lead to privacy concerns finally ai uh, could also be used to create powerful weapons that could be used to destroy cities or even countries uh, this could lead to a new arms race and increase the risk of global conflict okay, thank you thank you very much okay next team next team come here ask some positive questions next time <laughs> Okay. Please type. There are many use cases for this technology, okay? Like I said, now this is this could be one of your class uh, assignment, right? You don't have assignments? i doubt i have to come to your school college and see okay there are projects for you right what 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 are you doing for ai project what is your project about what do you choose to do like which year are you on right now third year any third years to only two years what is it? second years show up uh, show hands all second year show hands what's your plan for this uh, final project Okay, all first years. Okay, now you just keep pressing uh, this uh, button here, left, this left mouse button, left, left. Okay. okay. So it, it gave back a question mark. It doesn't understand. Just keep pressing it. Maybe, maybe it's gonna come out. What will the world look like? Types of. I think I need to. Okay. Maybe ah oh, okay it came ah oh. can you please read this? I also say if you like the answer or not. What will the world look like in terms of machine intelligence? There is no answer to this question as it depends on the specific form of machine intelligence takes. However, some potential outcomes could include widespread unemployment of machines take over many jobs currently done by humans, a rise in cyber crime as machines are targeted by hackers and a decrease in human interaction interaction as people spend more time interacting with machines it, is it is it good enough for you the answer maybe it can get detail right it is not good okay great that is also a use case yeah because now you know that the limitations of this technology right uh, any other teams how many teams remaining yeah, please come please come Yeah, let's finish it then. Uh, if you want a coffee break, you can finish it now, like faster. Type something. Yeah. Yeah, type. Okay, the next team. All, one of one member from each team, please come and sit here. Let's make it quick. Ah, okay, okay. So you can have your coffee in the meantime. One member from each team, please come here. Okay, he's trying to ask uh, as if it's an astrologer. Okay, he's asking who.
you are pushing its limits okay once you once you do that you click press or click yes it doesn't have an answer i guess okay it is giving blank blank response so no answer for that next next guys next team 2024 Okay no uh, no answer for it let's not push it <laughs> Okay please Okay please please sir Toh pichu aari ke la avarku kitti kaanu ivadu oru saana poyittundu Okay so now it's a horror story okay you better be ready maybe that's a keyword that they <laughs> okay 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 read 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 the we will we'll just read some part of it not the entire story yeah write a horror story about elon musk it was a dark and stormy night and elon musk was alone in his big empty house he was sitting in the dark watching tv then he heard a loud crash coming from upstairs he got up to investigate and saw the door to his bedroom was wide open he slowly walked in walked inside and saw that the room was completely destroyed the bed was overturned the dresser was smashed and there was blood everywhere read like a horror story <laughs> 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 okay suddenly suddenly he heard a loud voice coming from the closet he walked over to investigate and saw a dark <laughs> figure standing inside the figure slowly turned around and elon musk saw and elon saw that it was a monster the monster was huge it had blood dripping from its mouth elon tried to run but the monster monster was too fast it grabbed him and dragged him into the closet where it began to feast on his flesh okay is it too horror now let's stop it here because it, it can get dirty okay thank you thank you anybody else okay you can also ask, ask about mohanlal okay like you know must doesn't have to be americans so i have tested many things like and for few, few months and i know that uh, it understand it, it has the data of the world right you don't need to necessarily ask about um, any particular country or particular sector it knows more than what we think it knows okay now it it gives that too and it, it's going to give you some good ideas but it's not your idea by the way so that is very important okay um if it is not your idea at some point you will you will f- get fed up you know you can't just take it but still the ideas will be great okay uh you sing give me a start by using mobile application so uh, well, no, wait a minute first of all what's that, what does that mean uh something uh, start by here any start by here using mobile yeah but the question is give me a start by here using mobile application uh, for, 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 for yeah okay so if you even like this it's going to give you some output okay that is why i said prompt yeah plus just keep, keep clicking that that's why i said prompt prompt is important what you ask and you shall receive right so like that okay let me just maybe it doesn't know Oh. <laughs> okay, let's make it right. 
Right. How many you want? Let's say ten. One. One. Ten. Let's make it ten. Okay. Maybe it has to be specific. Okay. Let's let's still try once more. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have any answer for you now. Sorry. Next time. <laughs> oh, okay, it came. Oh, sorry. It, uh, it Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's like God, right? He answered his prayers. Okay. Read. A social network for connecting with different cultures for travel. Okay. Uh, a platform for finding and booking last minute vacations. Uh, a messaging app with a built in translator. A platform for renting out unused space. Uh, a mobile banking app with a uh, built in bug. Budgeting you tool. can write this down. These are like real use cases, okay? <laughs> okay. A food delivery app that offers healthy op options. Uh, a ride-sharing app for eco-friendly transportation. A task, man task management app uh, that help you stay organized. A photo editing app with a built-in collage, uh, collage maker. maker. Huh. A social media app that connects you with uh, like-minded people. Okay, like you pick people. one, pick one. I like... Uh <laughs> you have ten now, okay? A messaging app with uh, built in trans. Oh, it's part of it. <laughs> okay. That's easy, right? Okay, yeah. but still, fine. You like it or you really like it? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Now now you can join Fire. Fire will help you develop it. So, great. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay. A anybody left? All group ca uh, was here? Last group, what about you? You came? He was the last group. Okay. Is there any break now? Yeah, we can have a short break. So if if you want, otherwise I can continue. You, you can continue. Okay, <laughs> you you can have coffee in between. Okay, I'll I'll just continue. Does he have one more question? Or yes. Oh, you want to ask? Oh, go ahead. So, are you seeing the pattern here? Okay, like Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Uh, not everything, but still something is coming out, right? Is there any friend who can answer you that much? Uh, even there are, there are no person who is going to be there for you, right? To answer like that. Imagine it becomes like a chatbot. I mean, we are all at our phones, right? Right? Our phones. Imagine there is somebody talking to you. Have you seen the movie called Her? H-E-R. Her. Okay. Have you seen like it's an AI? AI becoming part of a man. Right? Do you see any uh, like it can happen even now, right? Somebody has to develop a program like that. The technology is already here. And imagine, imagine if it is there are, I mean, there are even positive impacts of it. Imagine if there is a person who died. And imagine if AI if can feed that data about that person to that AI, it can respond as if like, it, like the person. So these things are going to come out like products very soon. Okay. No, no, it, it will come. So you just need to... Um, that is the last advantage for about uh, GPT-3, which I also tested and it works. You just need to refine the prompt. So you can't just ask it to write it for you. Okay, that's too easy. But, but you can ask about, uh, just a simple tweak can work. Write um, in detail about uh, research paper on a detail about no, let's let's keep that last. Uh, about gamification and learning network, based on research paper, papers with 
their references. Okay. Now let's make it a bit more gamification and learning nerd. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, all students look at look at this, okay? All students please look at the screen. Now this is going to change. This is what is going to happen very soon to even all education aspects of our country. So, what it what we asked is that we asked AI to show topics uh, researches that is done based on the themes of gamification and learning, learning networks. And what it does, because since it has data over the internet, not just to Google or Wikipedia, but to even journals and papers. Okay, so imagine the hours that you can spend, you have to spend to do a paper. Now it can do it for you with the exact name of the paper and the year. Even it will give you the bibliography, like the exact uh, paper details at the bottom. So you have to keep asking it um, and you will get it. So it, it becomes part of your learning. Now it may feel like uh, cheating, right? Like somebody having access to this, but it's the same with the internet. When it came, people didn't like it. People were against it. But this is, these things are going to be become, are going to become, <laughs> are going to become uh, the standards very soon. Okay, thank you. I, I, I'll share, I'll share it. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Let me just, uh, that was just the beginning. GPT-3 is here. What you see is here. There are other language models. Many things are happening. Many big companies have access to bigger technologies and better technologies. Uh, not just Americans, Israel is one among the, one among the other best. Um, there are many applications right now that you can download to get similar results that i shown you. Okay, then one thing is called writer, R-Y-T-E-R. Write this down if you want to get some marks. <laughs> writer, R-Y-T-E-R. Then there is something called word tune, W-O-R-D, word tune. That's, that's like GPT-3 from Israel. Um, there are many others, okay? Writer and word tune. Copy dot data, yeah, there are many, there are many. But these guys also offer like uh, initial free few words offers. So anyway, there are other names. You don't have to know these names, but GPT-3 is here. And I want you to know that it's not the biggest. Okay, there are other biggest uh, language learning models. Now let's move on to Cortex. So, um, do you all guys have to learn coding, like students? You all have to, right? Is there any option that you can't? Anyways, are you going to, uh, will you pass if you don't know? Do you have a paper on code itself? One paper, you have to write code, right? At least one. Okay, so you have no other way out. Okay, so listen to me that there is an option, but you can't do this on your exam, but you can build your own code. Um, even before that, I want to uh, look back on your idea. So now you know that there are, we just asked about 10 possibilities for a startup, right? You see the out outcomes we get? And almost, if you know, if you are in the startup field, you know the value of those things. It's just, it's not just 10 ideas. Those are 10 things that you can start working on now. You may not know the tools on how, for example, you don't know how to write a code to get a product like that. But there is technology that can help you write the code. 
You see, the only thing that you need to have is an idea. So this session is more about or ideas than about code. You have to have some idea about not just yourself but something about doing something. Okay, that we will develop now. So it is actually a descendant of GPT-3. So when they figure out, we if you can ask, if you can give text as a prompt, it's gonna give you text output. Then they thought, what if we feed it the data from all over internet and especially from GitHub repositories? Uh, anybody who don't know GitHub yet? Anybody who knows GitHub? GitHub? Okay, please share what it is. Just, yeah, yeah, you can hide and shout. What is it? Just shout. You don't have to stand. Just shout what you know. What do you see in GitHub? Yeah, save the code. Okay, and why do you have to go to GitHub? Is there are many other platforms. Why GitHub is so famous? You can? Uh, you can clone. You can get codes. There are other people doing it. You can also contribute, right? Not just taking, right? You have to also give. So you can work on code. And it's a repository, which means it can store your data. And you can always go back and get. Like, oh, it's, it'll be saved. Um, so it's a great place to work. So GitHub, they have public repositories. So it, that is one of the major data for Codex. It scanned all those and used it as an input uh, for its language learning. Um, now, we are not talking, it literally says billions of lines of code. You know that code, right? Some codes are bigger. So likewise, it has gone through a large set of codes. You know, and now, it is proficient in over a dozen languages, including JavaScript, Python, Go, Perl, etc. Now, you see this? Okay, that is your paper, right? So there is a use case here. Okay, just that much is enough. Now I'm gonna teach you something different. It's called JavaScript, <laughs> but uh, that is one of the most used languages right now. Okay, now I'm gonna show you why or how easy it is to code through that because that is the technology that I have access to. Is that fine? What is a code? Yeah, but what for you, what is a code? Do you understand when you like? Do you type code by yourself, or you look at on a like, look at a page and type? You type, right? So when you type, are you typing it like a letter to your mom or something different? You have to follow something, right? What is it called? Syntax. Syntax. And is it the same for all languages? No, then who created this syntax? Somebody, right? <coughs> Somebody is a creator of that program. <coughs> Why can't you create your own program then? Now, is it possible, first of all? Is it possible? Yes. Yeah? So you know that. Um, now, the only question is, why didn't we create? <laughs> okay, so what it does basically is, it's a set of instructions, does something. That tells the computer what to do. Can you uh, give me an example of a code? Just say, you don't have to type. Sorry? Ah, hello world, right? Okay, fine, fine. What is the, like, how do you, how do you type hello world? Okay, you all know that, I'm glad. <laughs> Print, parenthesis, in that, in double quotes. Is there no uh, semicolon in Python? No need? Okay, fine. So that's it, right? And where do you see the output? In the next line. I don't know, that's why I'm asking. Where do you see the output when you give the input? Console. Okay, fine. So it's the same thing. Now, um, let's move on. Now I talked about prompt. All the group typed here, and that is called prompt. The instruction that you can give to an AI, so that it gives you something out. It's a trigger by the user to generate a required output. In the previous case, what we gave was text input, and it is it's giving you some text output based on the input that you gave. And here, the only difference is it's going to write a code for you. When you ask something, when you ask 
the next prime minister of india it's not going to write a code about the next prime minister you have to be very specific that is why it is important to build your idea okay it's a, it's little different from the previous one um, gpt3 because it's much easier it's much direct right you can just ask anything even if you type something some result is going to come out but this is different this is your project here a is not developing a project for you if you write give me a startup like give me a, a social media application it's not going to give you that because it's not how it works it is your project but it will help you to code it so you have to have an idea then it will help you to develop that idea how we will see but you have to have this first of all do you think this is the future yes no okay we will see that but who is going to teach you this if this is you think this will be part of your curriculum any time soon no it won't be first of all it's technology second it's 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 paid they are not going to t teach you for free then who is going to teach you this do you think the companies can afford this payment like this subscription of this service if they can do do you think they will hire you <laughs> okay we are talking about your future jobs now okay which is happening now so then who you have to learn this right somehow even to apply for a job you can tell that okay i know this so that i can work better for you you need somebody to work on this technology and i know that technology now who is going to teach you this technology yeah who said that who said that clap please clap her for her did you hear her okay you have to be very loud let them all hear we have we have to learn our own oh understood okay once more please we have to learn our own understood i can't hear you once more we have to learn our own please shout yes yes, yes. everybody please yes once more please yes okay thank you nobody is coming to to save you okay this time so how fast you can implement your idea if you have an idea what do you think is it possible to implement like give in in 5 days or 5 years you see how startups do right startups are much faster but big big companies they take a long year years to complete an assignment take governments for example you just take years to complete something right some sometimes multiple governments has to come to finish a project how fast you can you can you do it what do you think you who was the guy who said like 10 applications right how fast do you think you can develop that idea etra samayam edukum if if you know if you know enik ariyam engil enik etra samayam edukum okay so you saying one year now what end are the parameters what are the why do you say one year just listen to his answers okay these are all the same answers you all have the same questions in your head okay you need that learning time period right okay so you have to learn for example programming and other parts of it so you you believe that it takes you one year to finish is it is that the time you finish your course okay so you are expecting you will know about these things by the end of your course okay do you believe so first thing you will be able to you will be equipped with all this okay good so then uh, do you believe that they are going to teach you everything that you have to know to develop this no you have to learn right now the second question i want to ask why so long what are you waiting for like you you just, did you okay let me tell you how i learned okay like i said i had a fa failed startup story i left that space then i somehow through luck i got this access to open ai very few people have access to codex and i am one of them and i had to learn code during my engineering but i hated it my teacher was so bad i think it was one of my seniors who just killed every part of coding love that i have for code while he taught me and i left it and i am mainly in a, in the media industry media field 
I even worked as an assistant professor teaching media. I left that, okay? And after so many years, I came through this. I got access to JavaScript. In six months, I'm pretty good at it now. The application that you saw, I developed it myself. Nobody taught me. Okay? And how did I learn? I kept asking. Who? Not God. <laughs> what that thing? Okay? I, did I get errors? For sure. Did it answer all my questions? For sure not. Okay? But, like I said, if you have an idea, you have to have something. If you have an idea, and if you really want to do it, you can develop it, like slowly. Maybe it starts with a small thing. So it has, you have to think it like a building block. You know, you all have played with that, right, in your childhood? How do you build something from that? It will be very small pieces of block, right? On top of that, you will keep another one, and then you build a, a house or anything out of it. So that is what I want you to think about. We are going to build some program now, okay? Think about a very basic thing that you can build. Shall we start? So for example, what is, is typing, uh, uh, you, web, you type the web address, right? Explain the process of searching. You all use Gmail? So how do you access Gmail in a laptop? Yeah, yeah please, anybody, anybody, just shout the steps. First step, you open the laptop. Second step, uh, what program? Okay, now you have many programs, okay? You all use, you all don't use the same program. What programs do you use? Browser. Yeah, browser, but what, are, what is its name? You all use Chrome? Brave. Okay, why do you use Brave? Okay, listen to what he's saying. Do you, want, do you know what Brave is? You all know what Brave is? Okay, why didn't you use that? <laughs> okay, why are you using Brave? Arsenal. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> Okay, good enough, good enough. But that is their uh, ad, that is their ad that they are going to show you YouTube without ads. Okay, so and and once you take the browser, it's called a browser, right? What are the other browsers that you know of? Firefox. Okay, so you know. And in the browser, what do you do? Where? Where is that? Yeah, but where is it located in the screen? Usually on top, right? And you click, what do you do next? No, you can't just type, right? You have to click. Where do you click? Search wall. Then you do what? You type, right? Then that means the computer should know when you type something, you're pressing a key and that key has to appear there, right? Yeah, okay. Then what happens? Oh, then, then the autofill comes in, right? So you just press G and the whole thing comes up. You press that. No, no. Then you click on that or you type the entire URL and then you do what? You press enter or another button, right? And then what happens? Then, then what, for example, Gmail's case, what happened? Gmail opens up. Now, what is the process? Where is Gmail coming from? From, from some server, server, right? We don't, so just imagine the number of steps you have to access a simple Gmail at, like every day we do that, right? But we don't care about this. But these are the steps. You have to know that there exist steps for each thing, okay? You have to know while coding that every step matters. If you don't follow the steps, you are not going to get an output. You all might have got all errors, right? Programming, yeah? So that step, you have to like define yourself in your idea. If you have an idea, you have to define that steps. So how you will know, you have to develop it. So let me just show you some examples. Um, let me see. I'm trying my best to give you maximum. Um, you have to develop your idea, but before that, let me show you some codex. So we're going to do, um, uh, this is codex. It doesn't look beautiful at all. It's basically a screen looks like a blank screen, but there are three, there are three areas for it. Okay, on this side, when uh, the mouse is here, this is where you see the output. Here you will give the prompt. And on the right side you will see the code. You all know JavaScript. If you don't know, this is another language. It's not Java. It's JavaScript. Mostly used for web applications and in the web. Okay? Sandbox means, what is sandbox? 
What is sandbox? Okay, it's just a place space where you can test. Okay, you can build code and test. That's it. Um, Cortex is the name of this product. Cool. So what do we do? Let's start. Um, I'm I'm trying to make you comfortable. Don't worry. You can also have like last time. We are going to build something now. Okay, but just let's go through the process first and see how easy it is to do it. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. <coughs> so we were we were talking about uh, inputs, right? When you type something, um, that letter comes in. For example, if I press N, you can see N coming there, right? Can you can you program in such a way that if I press N, M will show up? If I press, if I type N, is there a way I can show M on the screen? Okay, then we should ask something about it, right? What will I ask? So I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to ask this. When letter N is pressed, show M on screen. Final letter. Simple language or not? This is not a natural language. This is how I speak to you, like we talk. And I'm asking the same to AI. So when I press that, it's going to do something. Okay. Um, this is JavaScript. You don't have to know JavaScript. You just need to know how to ask. Got that point? Okay. But let's just try to understand that there is something called M here. So it knows that I asked about M. And there is something called key code 78. That is the value for N. That is the computer's yeah, ASCII value, right? Now, let's go to this area and press N. You see that? I'm pressing N. And what you're seeing is M. You can't see M. I press N. I press N and you see M. Okay? So this is just an example. You, you see, we can ask it and it can give you something out. Can you show that code? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the code for the beginners. Just focus on what we are asking, okay? Uh, next thing is... Uh, you all, you all seen the movie Matrix? Matrix there in the beginning they show something like right? the cords flying in. Have you seen that? You remember? Okay. Okay, before that let's start with small steps again. Um, okay, let's say Okay, I'm going to ask, uh, let's, let's still go simple instructions, okay? L I'm asking write all English alphabets on screen. Okay, all the alphabets, so I gave it as an input. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Now I'm going to give it further instruction. Make them bold, Helvetica font. Helvetica is font in the bed, right? And bigger font size. Okay, so it's executing, right? So likewise, you can build. Now, So I asked, uh, I challenged myself, 
okay, this is not like a great deal, right? It's basically simple alphabets. I challenge myself like asking, what if, uh, what if it can understand Malayalam? Okay. Now, definitely I have to go through many processes. Like, we don't know it, right? right? Because it's not supposed to know Malayalam. Let's see if we can understand Malayalam. So I ask say, uh, Malayalam Akshara Mala Yeduga. Okay? By the way, what can it write? But what can it really write? Okay? What can it really write? Uh, then I thought, okay, I'll ask it more politely this time. So I said, okay, uh, maybe it doesn't understand what I type. I asked again. Okay? It's going to probably give me the same output. Right? Okay. Now, no, no, wait, wait, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's try once more. Let's become very humble. Chatta <laughs> Devi. Variables, so variables, what are, what are variables? Okay, Stor storing, yeah, just, just shout it. Okay, it can store a value, right? So, Chowi can chatta Devi, the Malayala alphabet cell, or variables, I, it is the screen of Kanikamo. Okay. <laughs> 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 Probably um, because <laughs> ah, correct. <laughs> so let's take this. Then a prompt, okay? Then a prompt. So now we variables in the variables. Are variables are good. In the action, we have variables in the very color. Let's see. Okay. Let's Okay, but still, you get some output, right? Colors possible, Anna? Testing is okay, Anna? This is an example. Okay, you see the possibilities that is coming up. You can see the generation of the Malayalam. You can see 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 the Malayalam. I can speak. You can see the Malayalam. I can just speak the, my instructions and press that button. It's going to show me this output. Just see how fast. I'm, I'm questioning you about the time that you are asking yourself to learn. One year of Anon and a question. Do you have to know these codes to get an output? That's the first question. See? We have idea. We have step by step. Segment I see there. Okay. We have an example. We have an example. Okay, let me see, hold on. So, we have a matrix in the no gala. Matrix in the no gala. 
നോ വാട്ട് വി ആർ ഷോയിങ് യു നാവ് ഈസ് ഇപ്പം ഇപ്പം നമ്മൾ ചെയ്തില്ല ഇതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് അഡ്വാൻസ് സംഭവങ്ങളെന്നാണ് പറയാം കാരണം ബിക്കോസ് വി ഡിൻ നോ നോ ബഡി പ്രോബ്ലം വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് മലയാളം എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ആസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ക്ലിയർ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ആസ്ക് ഇൻ വൺ ലൈൻ ഓഫ് കോ ഇതാണ് എൻ്റെ വൺ ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ഐ എം ജസ്റ്റ് ആസ്കിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഡയറക്ട്ലി ജനറേറ്റ് എ റെയിനിങ് ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് കോഡ് അങ്ങനെയാണല്ലോ അത് വരുന്നത് ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് റേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുന്ന പോലെയാണ് ലൈക്ക് ഇൻ ദ മാട്രിക്സ് മൂവി ന this is live code right it's coming from that uh, ai idinde history ariyamo idu sherikku or designer adeyathinte wife inde japanese cookbook ne scan cheyid eduthana original matrix inde code bhayangara side kandille japanese aanu adu cookbook ne eduthana ipo nammal kaanunna kando this is like real output now just endha endha nu manasilaavana ee sambhav similar alle okay you know that this is similar now what is it showing actually വൺസ് ആൻഡ് സീറോസ് വൺസ് ആൻഡ് സീറോ ഉള്ള ഏത് ഏത് നമ്പർ സിസ്റ്റം ആണ് ഓ ഓക്കെ കൈ കൊടുക്കാം കൈ കൊടുക്കാം സോ അപ്പൊ ഇതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് എവിടെ വൺ സീറോ എന്ന് കിടക്കുന്നത് നോക്കിയ പ്രോഗ്രാമിൽ ഇത് ഫോൺ സൈസ് തന്നെയുണ്ട് അതല്ലാതെ വേരിയബിൾ ടെക്സ്റ്റിന്റെ വാല്യൂ കണ്ടോ ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് നമുക്ക് ഫയ എന്ന് കൊടുത്താലോ വേറെ കുറച്ച് പേരുകളൊക്കെ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞേ നിങ്ങളുടെ പേരുകളില്ലേ ദേവു ഡി ഇ വി യു ഓക്കെ വേഗം പറഞ്ഞു വേഗം പറയൂ ആര്യ പിന്നെ ഐശ്വര്യ സ്പെല്ലിംഗ് പറയണേ സ്പെല്ലിംഗ് പറയണം കെ ഇ കെ മതിയോ ഒരെണ്ണം കൂടെ ഒരെണ്ണം കൂടെ കുക്കു ഇതൊക്കെ ശരിക്കുള്ള പേര് തന്നെയാണോ ഓക്കെ മതി നാവ് ഇഫ് ഐ പ്രസ് ഇതിപ്പോൾ ഓക്കെ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇത് റീറൺ ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ ഇപ്പം കാണുന്നത് നിങ്ങളുടെ പേരിലുള്ള കോഡായി പോകുന്നത് ഇപ്പം പറയും എനിക്കൊന്നും കാണാൻ പറ്റുന്ന പറയായിരിക്കും ഇതെല്ലാം വേരിയബിൾസ് ആയി കാണുന്ന എല്ലാം ഓക്കെ എവ്രി തിങ് ഈസ് എ വേരിയബിൾ ദിസ് ഈസ് അനദർ ബ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് കോഡ് എല്ലാവരും ശ്രദ്ധിച്ച് കേൾക്കുക എന്താ കോഡിന്റെ പ്രത്യേകത ഞാൻ എപ്പോഴും പറയാറുണ്ട് ബൈജൂസ് ബൈജൂസ് ഒക്കെ എല്ലാവരും പഠിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടോ ബൈജൂസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കാശുള്ളവരാണെന്ന് അറിയാമല്ലോ കുറെ കാശ് ഉണ്ടാക്കണമെന്ന് അറിയാമല്ലോ മലയാളി ആണെന്നൊക്കെ അറിയാമല്ലോ ബൈജൂസിന് ഒരു ആപ്പായിരിക്കും പുള്ളി ആ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയേക്കുന്നത് അതിനകത്ത് ഒരു ഡെമോ വേർഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ആർക്കും വേണ്ടത്ര സാധനം പിന്നെ ഒരു ഇരുപത് ലക്ഷം രൂപ അല്ലെ ഒരു ലക്ഷം രൂപ തൊട്ടുള്ള വേറൊരു സാധനം അല്ലേ ഇവർ ഈ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയറിൻ്റെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാവുന്ന ഒരു പോസിബിലിറ്റി പിന്നെ നിങ്ങൾ ചിന്തിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഈ ഒരു ഒറ്റ പ്രോഗ്രാമിന് എത്ര ആക്കാമെന്ന് അറിയാമോ ജസ്റ്റ് ദിസ് വൺ പ്രോഗ്രാം ക്യാൻ ബി ഐട്രേറ്റഡ് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ടൈംസ് ഇൻ എല്ലാ വേരിയബിൾസ് മാറ്റി കൊടുക്കാം എവ്രി വേരിയബിൾസ് ക്യാൻ ബി ചേഞ്ച്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഈച്ച് ടൈം യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് എ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ടു ഷോ യു ദ പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് പിന്നെ അതെല്ലാം തന്നെ എന്താ പറയുന്നത് വാല്യൂസ് ഏതൊക്കെ ഉള്ളത് ഒരു ഒരു യെസ് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് കുഡ് ബി ദിസ് കുഡ് മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഫാസ്റ്റർ ബട്ട് ലെറ്റ് സേ ലെറ്റ് മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഓക്കെ സ്ലോവർ ലെറ്റ്സ് മേക്ക് ലെറ്റ്സ് മേക്ക് ദിസ് ടു ഓസ് point two okay you see the pattern changing okay now let's make the font size bigger where is font size let's make it 100 you see that okay now let's make a uh, drops 22 okay there are many ways you can develop this okay i have tested myself as well so see the number of uh, lines of code it has likewise likewise there are many possibilities now this is one among the possibilities out here okay what about if you can do, use this for art is it possible okay let me show you a sample yeah please so right here i guess it's it's already here let me see okay this is the processing anybody heard of processing okay there is something called p5.js search on the internet you will find it learn it somehow it will be very useful for you okay p5.js and they have an editor you can if you have a code you can just run it here okay i may have to hold on
So in P5, it ha it gives you it's a it's a JavaScript library, just giving you understanding about libraries. Libraries helps you code faster, easier, more efficient. Okay, it it has many shortcuts. You just need to write. You don't have to write this much code. Even smaller lines of codes are enough. So uh, in that, this is a test that I did. Um, so I called it Malayalam cubes. Is it there? Okay. So if I press play, what you see is the output here. Okay. Now, it's the same code. Code is generated from Cortex, but I, I played it in a different platform because it only process runs here. Now, is it interactive? It is interactive, you see. Now, is it 3D? It is 3D. Okay. Can you zoom in? Yes. See that? Now, the image that I use is from Wikipedia. It's just R. And that R is seen on all the cubes. Now, imagine this in a big screen. You see, like, see the possibilities that you can have in the, in the domain of art. So, this is one example. Okay, I'm just showing you different, different ideas. What else can you make? Let's let's think about like on all the groups. Figure out. Let's make it a small experiment here. Make uh, as simple as this. What is a switch? <coughs> Why do you use a switch for? On and off. Do you? How many times you use your switch on a daily basis? You all, your all rooms have switches, right? Yes. How many times do you think you use a switch? Just give a number. Thirty times. 30, 40. How many times? What is a button on your phone? How many times do you use that button? How many times? Let's just take the case of WhatsApp. How many times you press any button? Like wherever you click is supposed to be a button or some sort of th that value thing, right? So just imagine the times. So you see the importance of buttons in our lives? Yes. This button is digital button, okay? We are going to create something with buttons now. So you need to, as simple as that, uh, I'll also code you for now. Okay, the idea is something similar. When I press something, something has to happen. Um, where is Codex? So this is Codex. I'm going to clear this off. So uh, let's, we'll ask it how to uh, generate a button. When you say that, what is going to happen? To generate a button. Okay, click me. Uh, I'll say make it more stylish. I don't, I don't like it. Okay. Okay, it's better. I still don't like it. So I say, okay, make it sky blue gradient color, rounded rectangle, and Helvetica bold font, and place it at absolute center of screen. Let's see. These are different steps of code, if you have, if you have tested code coding. You see that happen. But it didn't get the color to gray. Okay, to bottom. Let's make it uh, sky blue. Okay, see that difference? So it understands. Okay, let's make this one. Um, this one uh, dark blue. Okay, now it's getting better. I'm ge I'm kind of liking it. So it's a click me, which is what it's just a, now it says click me, right? Why does it say click me? Because somewhere I have ex somewhere the, in the code it says click me. It says here, right? Now I can change it to what? I can change to anything. Let's say um, I am, I'm going to call it switch for now. It can be your name or Kiki or whatever that is. Okay, there. I call it switch. Um, now what hap What should happen when I press this? 
So let's also make I, I still want to feel it like a button. So um, make it scale. Now when I say it, it already understand I'm talking about the button. Okay, scale down um, on button press and revert it back to its original size upon release. Now this is I'm just. Uh, you don't have to worry about this many times because you will get to this kind of terms when you start coding. But even if you say make it small and big, it will understand. Okay. So what happens now is if I press this, you see that? Now it feels like a button. Now this is the same button that you have in your favorite website and app and all. It's the same thing. Okay. What happens when you switch a button? That you have to tell it. Okay. Let's say uh, fill the screen uh, in black on button press and make it white again on the next press. But now this is the same thing. black and white. So what is the So if we are variable, okay? The simple sum of the same thing is the same now, ask yourself, what can we do next? You will always get the next question. How can I make it better? Let's, okay. Fill the background in rainbow colors. On each press randomly. Let's say if it works or not. No, no, RGB values no, no. RGB are yellow, red, green and blue and it's giving it a code and it's either it, randomness. Okay? If I press now, see that? So that is that the sample code. Now let's develop something. Before you go, let's develop something and go. Is that cool? Every team, something small, as simple as this. Even the same thing. Let's 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 focus on the switch. Even if train process English, okay, switch we will just work from here. Cancel it. Make it scale down. Ah, Just when that when you press that switch, something has to happen. Think about it. It can be even small. Let's say uh namaskaram. Okay? So something has to happen when you press that button. Think, think about it. Think it can be as simple as you can. It can be as simple as you can. It can be as simple as you can. You have a technology to test now. You have a technology to test now. You can test it now. Okay? Just think about anything. Pleasure, no? Oh, oh, you want to ask? Um, let's see, come on. But this is not. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, you, you, you keep discussing and see what she does. Uh, mouse. So she is gonna ask. Uh, I guess she's gonna ask when the when when the switch is pressed to play a song. Uh, If you give it in quotes, then it, it clearly understands that you mean that specific thing. Okay? So sometimes you don't have to. Because that's why it's, it's an intelligent thing, so it knows most time. Anything. I mean, you all use apps, right? What happens when you press something? Something pops up, an image comes out, sometimes it's a website. Okay, now let's let's play it. 
probably you may not hear it first of all i need to check if that link is uh, live yeah let's see this okay th this is a real link so uh, okay maybe because I I does it have speak it not uh, or let me see let me check hold on Okay, but it works. It it actually works. Ah, okay, okay. So let's let's try it here itself. Let's test it in a uh, P five then. Copy. So it works, okay? You you didn't say off. You did. It's gonna keep. It's gonna to keep playing. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. You have to instruct exactly what she she asked to play it, right? So it played. You didn't, she didn't ask to stop it. So it's going to keep playing it, which is good. Now it's the background music is good. So next thing, it's a good song, yeah. Probably, but okay. No, no. It, uh, listen, one thing. Um, she asked for a song, and it gave a song. Okay, not the same song. But you see, this is a link. It can be your song. It can be any song. Yeah. First of all, it's it's very bad to steal, right? So it can't steal for you. <laughs> Second, it can play. I mean, this is the code you have. You can play any song here. You see the possibilities. So you just need to give that link here. It can be from any website. Okay. So yeah, thank you. Any any next team next team. Who is coming next? Okay, type, type. I am asking you to test something weird things, okay? Because this is the time you can do so. Anything is possible. Just make it weird. Because this is so easy, right? Make it difficult. Make it challenging for the AI. Ah, uh, draw a flower spelling. Ah, so she is asking uh, it to draw a flower on button press. It just can't do it. Okay, like I said, it has to be step by step. For us, drawing is so easy, but for a program, it is not. Okay, we are talking about many, many points. And you didn't say what flower or how big the flower, what color is it. Now even even then it's it will be difficult for a program to draw it. Okay? This is what you have to understand. Listen to me please. This is what you have to understand. Okay, there are things that may look easier for you. Because I tested it, that's that's why it's it's coming out, okay? But when you le start learning, you will you will realize that nothing is to flower up. Okay, it it will take time. It will take time to develop every single step of the process. So it just can't show you a flower now. Ah, that is a good question. Now, come here, come here. Where is that team? Okay. Now we need to, we need to uh, just delete this one. Last one. What is your name, sir? Prem. Prem has said something possible. Now that is, now, uh, uh, display. Just time, yeah. Please say on on the button press. 
a flower, any flower can be any flower. Display a, a, an image of a flower. Display an image of a flower. No, no, but varchilla, but still it's possible. Now, when you press this, just like the like the audio, right? Something is going to happen. Okay, it, it got a li uh, link from Wikimedia, which is a public URL. Now press. Okay, that, now when, if that happens, that means few things. This is the location of the flower. That is why you see that image, that URL, broken URL here. Which means it's 50% and 50% means it's exactly at the middle. Uh, you can move it. Second thing is that this link is not working because there is no image there. That's a dummy link. So we can actually find what we can do. I'll, you stay here, I'll show you. What we can actually do is find a flower. This is your program, right? So you have to find the flower. So let's go to Google for now. Um, what flower you want? Rose flower. Hibiscus flower. Hibiscus flower. Okay, now go to images, let's pick one. This one. So, everybody please listen. So, I, I copy the link address, okay? Copy the link address, I go here and I just need to change the link. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. JPEG is the file format. Okay. JPEG is I think it's a file format. Or JPEG or work out. Okay. So I just need to, I mean, we need to make sure that it's a image file. Pala formats under. So let's see. So if I press this now, now it came up. Now since it is behind, like above the switch, we can't press it back. So, make, make the switch above all legs. Okay, now it's there. Still again the same thing. You have to press again. The matter of the other than So, on the type you. Um, when when button is pressed again, hide the. When button is pressed again, no, 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 When button is pressed again, hide the image, hide the flower. Again, hide the flower. Arthur team, are you? Arthur team, are you? It's a chance you don't think you're going to be able to Hide the okay thank you thank you hello close the phone Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's possible. 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 Ah, type. 
ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ ട്രൈ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് സം വിയേർഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ലൈക്ക് വിയർ ഐഡിയ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കൂ ഇത് എന്ത് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടാക്കി എടുക്കുന്ന പോലെ ചലഞ്ചിങ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ പക്ഷേ ഓൾസോ നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യുവർ ഐഡിയ ഓക്കെ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ആയിട്ട് ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വരാവുള്ളൂ എനിക്ക് ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള ഉണ്ടാക്കി തരാൻ പറയരുത് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു ബി സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഓപ്പൺ ക്യാമറ ബട്ടൺ ഓൺ പ്രസ് ഓൺ ബട്ടൺ പ്രസ് നോക്കാം നോക്കാം ടി ഒന്ന് ആയിക്കേ നോക്കാം ചെയ്യുക ഓപ്പൺ ഡിവൈസ് ക്യാമറ നമ്പർ കൊടുത്തേ ഡി ടി ആ ഡിവൈസ് ക്യാമറ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് ഓക്കെ നൗ ഈ സാസ്കിയ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓക്കെ വി വിൽ സി ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഓൺ ഓൺ പ്രസ് 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 ആ ഓക്കെ മൗസ് എടുത്തു ഓൾസോ ഈ സൈഡിലേക്ക് കൂടെ നോക്കണേ ഇത് എന്താ ഇവർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആ ഓക്കെ നല്ല ചോദ്യങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് വാ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇത് വീട്ടിൽ പോകാനാണ് വാ ഗുഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ യെസ് കുറച്ച് ബുദ്ധിയുള്ള ആൾ തന്നു അല്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ബുദ്ധി ഉണ്ടായിട്ട് കാര്യമില്ല അത് എങ്ങനെ എക്സിക്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ നോക്കാം നമുക്ക് ഇത് അടുക്കള കയറിട്ട് എനിക്ക് അപ്പം ഉണ്ടാക്കി തരാൻ പറഞ്ഞാലും ഉണ്ടാവും നോക്കാം ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു ഗെയിം ആണ് ചോദിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഗെയിം ന്യായമായിട്ടുള്ള ചോദ്യം ആണെങ്കിലും സിമ്പിൾ ഗെയിം ആണെങ്കിലും ഇതെങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുന്നത് നോക്കാം വിത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഇന്റലിജൻറ്റ് ആ ഗെയിമിൻ്റെ അത് രസമുണ്ട് ഗെയിം ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ഈ ഗെയിം പോലെ ഉണ്ടായി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഞാൻ നമുക്ക് അതിനോട് തന്നെ കളിക്കാൻ പറയാം ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ കീപ്പ് പ്ലേയിങ് കളിച്ചുകൊണ്ടേ ഇരുന്നോളൂ ഇപ്പോൾ ആരും ചോദിച്ചില്ല വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ ത്രെഡ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ അപ്പോസ് നമുക്കൊരു പ്രോഗ്രാം ദർ ക്യാൻ ബി പ്രോഗ്രാം ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടേൺ ആൻഡ് ക്യാൻ റൺ ഫോർ എവർ ഇഫ് ദാറ്റ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഈസ് ഇൻ എ സിസ്റ്റം ദാറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ക്യാൻ ഡൈ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വി ഡോണ്ട് ഈവൻ നോ വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഡൈ വൺസ് ഇൻ സിംഗിൾ ലൈൻ ഓഫ് കോഡ് ക്യാൻ ഡു ദാറ്റ് ഐ വേണ്ട ഇത് ഡബിൾ ക്ലിക്ക് വേണ്ട സോ ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു കാര്യം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ശരിയാണ് രണ്ടു പ്രാവശ്യം അടുപ്പിച്ച് ചെക്കിയോണ്ടാണ് നേരത്തെ കിട്ടാൻ സാധ്യത എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം ചെക്കിയാൽ മതി നോക്കാം ആ വരുന്നുണ്ട് സോ ഇത് കണ്ടോ ഒമ്പത് സെൽസ് എന്നൊക്കെ വരുന്നുണ്ടോ എന്താ ടിക്ടാക്ക് ടിക്ടാക്ക് എന്താന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുത്തേ ഒമ്പത് സെൽസ് ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും അതിനകത്ത് നമുക്ക് ഓരോ രണ്ട് പ്ലേയേഴ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും ഉള്ളത് ഓരോ പ്ലേയേഴ്സിനും ഒന്നിൽ വട്ടം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇൻഡു ആരാണോ മാച്ച് ചെയ്യണം ഇപ്പോൾ ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു സീറോ ഡയഗണലിൽ മൂന്ന് പേര് വരച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സ്വിച്ച് കൊടുത്ത് ഓക്കെ ഇത് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ നോക്കാം അതെങ്കിൽ സങ്കടപ്പെടുന്നത് വന്നില്ല എന്തെങ്കിലും ഇതൊക്കെ കോഡ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ എന്ത് കഷ്ടപ്പാടാന്ന് അറിയാം ഓക്കെ സോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഹിയർ എന്താന്ന് സ്ക്രോൾ ചെയ്ത് മേലോട്ട് നോക്കി കുറെ കോഡ് വന്നില്ലേ അത് തന്നെ വലിയ കാര്യമല്ല കുറെ വന്നില്ലേ ഇനി എന്തൊക്കെയോ ശരിയാക്കാനല്ല ഒമ്പത് കളങ്ങളുണ്ട് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചോ ഒമ്പത് കളങ്ങളുണ്ടല്ലോ ഏകദേശം ഒരു സ്ക്വയർ ഷേപ്പ് ഒക്കെ വന്നിട്ടില്ലേ അപ്പൊ ഒപ്പിക്കാൻ ആയില്ലേ ഓക്കെ സോ അതിന് ദൈവത്തോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം മേലോട്ട് പോയി മേലോട്ട് പോയി സോ ഓരോ സെല്ലിൽ നിന്നൊക്കെ ഇഫ് സെൽ ഇത് എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞ ഓരോ ഇതിൻ്റെ അകത്തൊന്ന് ക്ലിക്ക് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കിയാൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും വരുമോ എന്ന് നോക്കിയാൽ കണ്ടോ അത് കണ്ടോ കൈകളിക്കണം ഇനി വേറെ എവിടെയെങ്കിലും ക്ലിക്ക് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കി ഓക്കെ സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സം ഹൗ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ യു നീഡ് ടു ഐട്രേറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഇത്രയും വന്നില്ലേ ഓക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ പോയി ഇന്റർവ്യൂവിനൊക്കെ ചെല്ലുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ വെറുതെ Do you know that you need to have a portfolio by the time you sit in front of an interviewer? 
Okay, and what are you going to show him or her? You can show this, right? You see, like, this is a game, like a real functioning game. Okay, errors on Dagam, but it's still functioning, right? Thank you, thank you, brother. Okay, next team, next team. This is your opportunity. Consider this as an opportunity. Please come forward. Ah, okay. Let's let's try. Ah, type in. She has two questions. Open a new tab. Uh, yeah, be specific. Uh, on button press on. Now it's asking uh, for a to open a new tab. You all know what a tab is. All know what a tab is, right? So. I, I guess that it won't work because it's a sandbox. It may not work here, but let's try. Okay, did you press? Let me check. Okay, okay, let's, let's, okay, test it. Okay, it may, it didn't work here. But let's see if it works on another application. But if this is if this is somewhere else, it should work. Let me see. <coughs> so I take this and I go to anywhere. Okay. Okay, it worked. Ah, keyword button. So she she tested something and it worked. Okay, let's now close this. See that it's just two lines of code. And I don't know. I'm also better. So our camera is not working. Our camera is. It will also work. Okay, everything will work, but. You have to switch it to where you text it to play it. Oh, everybody, look at playing. Oh, okay, to sandbox and that. But next team, please come forward. Are we done? We did one thing. You caught me. I'm not allowed. Audio. I'm going to do something. No, that is time to do it. Anybody? Hello, one team in the world. What are you doing? Here. 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 Anybody from this team? You have come? Ah, you did already. Last team, last team. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. Open a new tab. Button with... Okay. With a keyboard. What is the keyboard? Google वर्मो आप अंदर वो लोग इस पेज पे so she wanted to get a page with a Google page with fire as a search keyword so open a new tab click the button with the opens opens Google and search for a opens Google and search for a keyword fire and search for a आ अभी तो मार दियो वित्त वित्त नॉलेज दी दी थी तो और थोड़ा ये एक बड़ा ओके और दो कुछ तो ये कुछ तो ये अंदर का लेट्स सी लेट्स सी इफ इट कैन आईडेंटिफाई डन प्रोसेसिंग ओके Okay, now you see the last code and what do you see the similarity in the last code and this one? E code, E code, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? One second, I'll play a button. So now she's going to run the code. Okay, let's run the code. Okay, let's run the code. Okay, let's run the code. 
ഓക്കെ അത് ഇപ്പുറത്ത് ഇതിൻ്റെ അവിടെ ആ ഇച്ചിരി പതുക്കെ പറഞ്ഞേ സോ ലാ വൻഷി റൺസ് എ കോഡ് കോഡ് റൺ ആയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഇപ്പം എന്തായിരിക്കും സംഭവിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നതെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞേ ഫയ എന്നുള്ളത് വരണം നോക്കാം വന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ അപ്പം എന്താ സംഭവം അതുകൊണ്ടാണോ അല്ലായിരിക്കും ചിലപ്പോൾ ഈ കോഡ് നമുക്ക് കളഞ്ഞു നോക്കാം അല്ലാതെ പ്ലേ ആയി കാണുന്നില്ല എങ്കിൽ ചിലപ്പോൾ നോക്കാം ഇനി ഒന്നുകൂടെ നോക്കിയേ ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ബട്ട് ദ ക്വറി ഈസ് ദെയർ ആ കോഡ് കറക്റ്റ് ആണല്ലോ ഈ ഈ ക്വറി നമുക്ക് കൊടുത്താലും മതി ഇവിടെ ഓക്കെ നാ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇപ്പം മനസ്സിലായി അതായത് ആദ്യം ഗൂഗിളിൽ പോവുക നമ്മൾ ആ ഇത് നമ്മൾ പ്രോഗ്രാമറാണ് ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഡീബ് ചെയ്യാൻ അവസരം ഉണ്ട് ഇനി അവിടെ പോയി ഫായ കൊടുക്കുക കണ്ടല്ലോ ഇത് ഇതാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ലിങ്ക് ഓക്കെ കോപ്പി ദിസ് അങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ അല്ലേ ഫയ ഓക്കെ ഒന്നും പറയാനില്ല നമുക്ക് താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ബട്ട് ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം വർക്ക്സ് ഓക്കെ അത്ര അറിഞ്ഞല്ലോ ആ താങ്ക് യു അടുത്ത ആരാ തീരെ തീരുവാണ് ഹൂസ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ആ യെസ് ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ സോ നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ ഇതുവരെ ചെയ്തേക്കുന്നത് ദർ ഇസ് എ ബട്ടൺ ഓൺ സ്ക്രീൻ റൈറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഇത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഈ ഈ ബട്ടൺ പ്രസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പം സംതിങ് ഹാസ് ടു ഹാപ്പൺ അപ്പോൾ അതെന്താണെന്ന് നാച്ചുറൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് കൊടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഹി ഇറ്റ് വിൽ സ്പീറ്റ് എ കോഡ് ആ കോഡ് കൊണ്ട് വർക്ക് ആകുന്നത് ഇവിടെ ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്ത് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഐഡിയ ഒരു ഐഡിയ ഇപ്പം ഇവരൊക്കെ ഓരോന്ന് ഇപ്പം ഞങ്ങൾ കളർ മാറി നോക്കി ഞങ്ങളൊരു വെബ്സൈറ്റ് ഓപ്പൺ ലാസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ലാസ്റ്റ് ഡേ എന്താ പ്ലാൻ എന്താ നമ്മൾ ആ ഗൂഗിൾ മാപ്പ് അതൊക്കെ പറ്റുമെന്ന് അറിയാമല്ലോ ഏത് ലിങ്ക് ഓപ്പൺ ആവും അത് ഓപ്പൺ ആവും അത് മനസ്സിലായോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ദാറ്റ് കോഡ് വിൽ വർക്ക് ഫോർ എനി ലിങ്ക് ഇനി വേറെ ലിങ്കിന് വേണ്ടി പ്രോഗ്രാം എഴുതണ്ട ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് സിമ്പിൾ വൺ കോഡ് ഇസ് ഇനഫ് ആ ആ പരിസരത്തേക്കുള്ള എല്ലാ കോഡും അതിൽ നിന്ന് നടക്കും വേറെ എന്തെങ്കിലും ആലോചിക്കുക ആ ബാ പൈത്തൻ ചെയ്യാം ബാ പൈത്തൻ എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടി പൈത്തൻ ചെയ്യുന്നതായിരിക്കും ബാ ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വാ പൈത്തൻ കാണിച്ചു തരാം ഒന്ന് ആലോചിക്കാം മാത്രം ഇപ്പം ആ സമയത്ത് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഐഡിയ ചുമ്മാ ആലോചിച്ച എന്തെങ്കിലും ആ ഓക്കെ നോക്കാം 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 കോൾ ഊബർ ലെറ്റ് സി നമുക്കിത് നോക്കിയിട്ട് നോക്കാം കോൾ ഊബർ ഓൺ ബട്ടൺ പ്ലസ് ഇത് കണ്ടോ അഗെയിൻ ദ സെയിം തിങ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ലൊക്കേഷൻ സോ ഇപ്പം നമ്മൾ നോക്കി ഇത് വിളിച്ച ഊബർ വരുമോ എന്നല്ല നോക്കണ്ടേ ആസ് എ കോഡർ നിങ്ങൾ നോക്കണം എന്ത് വിളിച്ച ഊബർ വരുമെന്ന് എന്നിട്ട് ആ ലിങ്ക് അവിടെ കൊടുക്കണം സോ കസ്റ്റമർ വെൻ ഹി ക്ലിക്സ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എൻ ഊബർ ഓക്കെ മനസ്സിലായല്ലോ നാ ലെറ്റ് ഫൈനലാണ് നിങ്ങൾ പൈത്തോൺകാരുടെ പ്രത്യേക ശ്രദ്ധയ്ക്ക് ഇല്ല പൈത്തോൺകാർ തന്നെ നോക്കണം അല്ല ഹിയർ അല്ല ഇത് ജാവസ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ബലൂൺ ഉണ്ടാക്കണോ ശരി ഓക്കെ ഇത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് പൈത്തോണ്ടും കൂടെ കാണിച്ചാൽ നമ്മൾ വൈൻഡ് അപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നതായിരിക്കും സോ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ഉണ്ട് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഐ സെറ്റ് ദർ ആർ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ഫോർ കോഡക്സ് JavaScript is one among them. Then there is Python as well. Okay, I'll just show you one sample thing in Python because I don't know. Anybody proficient in Python here? Trim blur on those. Anyone? Peri can rather. You don't have to. You just need to ask. You just need to think. The only variable here, okay? If you want to know what you want, you want to know what you want. How much? Okay? If you can think, you can create it. That is the possibility that we have now. Like he was asking. 
എനി ഡയറക്ഷനിലേക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിൽ കൊണ്ടുപോയതിന് ഓക്കെ ഞാൻ ഈ ആസ് എന്താന്ന് പറഞ്ഞുകൊടുത്തേ ആ ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് സി ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് വർക്ക്സ് ഓർ നോട്ട് ഞാൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് നോ ഈ വാട്ട് എ ബലൂൺ ഈസ് ഓക്കെ വെയിറ്റ് 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 സംതിങ് ഹാപ്പൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് അഗൈൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് കെയിം എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഇൻ ദ സെയിം സെൻറ്റർ റൈറ്റ് അതുകൊണ്ട് അത് പോയി സോ യു ക്യാൻ ഡു അനദർ തിങ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ടൈപ്പിങ് സോ ഷോ ദ ബട്ടൺ റാൻഡംലി ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ സ്ക്രീൻ so 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 are the balloons balloons randomly across the screen across the screen on button press okay kudu i just need a help from somebody in any idea on python okay something that you can understand oru edengil sample program alum madi hello world nu mathram parayirudu just one step above that okay vandu numbers open kodukala ah kodukala like one second yes okay idu idu adu nikku i think he gave the same um ഒരു ഒറ്റ കോഡാക്കി നോക്കാം ഓക്കെ ഇതിന് ഒന്നുകൂടെ കൊടുത്തു ഓക്കെ കിട്ടിയോ പൈത്തോൺ കിട്ടിയോ അത് ലാസ്റ്റ് സംഭവം അത് ആരാ വരാൻ പോകുന്നത് ജസ്റ്റ് സംബഡി കം തീരോ തീരോ ലാസ്റ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഹൂസ് ഗോ ഹൂസ് ഗോയിൻ കം പൈത്തൺ നിങ്ങൾ ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്യണ്ടെന്ന് ചോദ്യം ചോദിച്ചാൽ മതി ആ കൊടുത്തേ ബലൂണ് ബലൂൺ വന്നു ഇനി ബലൂൺ വള്ളി എവിടെ ബലൂണിന്റെ അറ്റത്തുള്ള സാധനങ്ങളൊന്നും ചോദിക്കരുത് ബലൂൺ വന്നില്ല ഇതൊക്കെ തന്നെ ധാരാളം ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു മറ്റേ ഒന്നുകൂടെ മറ്റേ നോക്കണോ പൈത്തൺ ആരാ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ബാ ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു സോ ആ പറയാം 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 പൈത്തോണിന്റെ കേസില് ഇത്തിരി വ്യത്യാസമുണ്ട് ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടതിന്റെ പേരാണ് ഈ സാധനമാണ് ശരിക്കും ഇതിന്റെ ഒറിജിനൽ സാധനം ഓക്കെ ഇതിന്റെ അകത്ത് എന്ത് ചോദിക്കും ഏത് ലാംഗ്വേജും ചോദിക്കാം ഇപ്പൊ ഇതിന്റെ അകത്ത് പൈത്തോൺ ചോദിക്കാം പൈത്തോൺ ഒരു ഫോർമാറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ആ ഫോർമാറ്റിൽ ചോദിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ഒരു ഉദാഹരണം കാണിച്ചു തരാം ഒന്ന് ഹോൾഡ് ചെയ്യണ ആ ഓക്കെ ഇത് പൈത്തോണിന്റെ സാമ്പിൾ ഫോർമാറ്റ് ആണ് ഇപ്പം കാണുന്നത് ഇത് ശരിയാണോന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ തന്നെ പറയണേ ശരിയാണോ ഇത് റൺ ചെയ്ത് എന്ത് പറ്റും ശരിയാണോ പറഞ്ഞേ ആദ്യം നെയ്മ് നമുക്ക് ഇൻപുട്ട് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ടുള്ളൊരു ഇത് വരും അതിനുശേഷം ഹലോ ആ നെയ്മ് നമ്മൾ എന്താണ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ആയിട്ട് കൊടുത്ത ആ നെയ്മ് വരും ഇത് ശരിയാണോ മനസ്സിലാതിരിക്കുന്നത് അറിയാൻ മേലാത്തോണ്ടാണോ അതോ മനസ്സിലായിട്ടാണോ ഓക്കെ ഇതൊക്കെ സിമ്പിള് അല്ലേ അടുത്ത് സോ ഇതും ഒരു സാമ്പിൾ ആണ് ഇനി തൊട്ട് മൂന്നാമത്തെ സംഭവം കാണിക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ തന്നെ പറയണം ഇത് കണ്ടു ഇത് അതിന്റെ ഫോർമാറ്റ് മൂന്ന് പ്രാവശ്യം കൊട്ടേഷൻ മാർക്സ് ഇടുക എന്നിട്ട് അതിന്റെ ഇടയ്ക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ക്വറി കൊടുക്കുക ഇതാണ് ക്വറി കണ്ടോ അതാണ് നമ്മുടെ പ്രോംറ്റ് സോ ഇത് എന്താന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയ ഇതെന്താ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്ന പറഞ്ഞ ഓക്കെ പറഞ്ഞേ എന്തായിരിക്കും ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സൂം ചെയ്യണോ ചുമ്മാ ചുമ്മാ നാളെ ചോദിക്കാൻഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ലാസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ഇനി നമ്മുടെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾ ആലോചിച്ച് എന്തെങ്കിലും പ്രോഗ്രാമിനെ പറ്റി ആലോചിച്ച് നമുക്ക് ഇപ്പൊ തന്നെ നോക്കാം ആ കൊടുത്തു ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്തു ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്തു തേനി ഇടയ്ക്ക് ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്തു അതിന്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്തു ആ ടൈപ്പ് ഓക്കെ ഈ ഈ കോഡ് ഈ കോഡ് ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആരാണോ അയാളുടെ ആണ് ഈ കോഡ് ഓക്കെ ഇത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതുവരെ മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ ഇതുവരെ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്തതെല്ലാം ഹൂ ഓവർ റൈറ്റ്സ് ദ കോഡ് ദാറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ ഓൺസ് ദ കോഡ് ഓക്കെ മനസ്സിലായോ 
അത് കാശ് ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന കോഡാണെങ്കിൽ യു ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് മണി ആസ് വെൽ പോർത്തോണം ഒരു വർഷം കഴിയണ്ട കാശ് ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ എവറി തിങ് ഈസ് പോസിബിൾ ബട്ട് ലേണിങ് കുറെ സംഭവങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പം കഴിഞ്ഞോ സബ്മിറ്റ് കൊടുക്കണം യു ഹാവ് ടു ട്രെയിൻ എ ഐ സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി ഇപ്പം ലേണിംഗ് മോഡൽസ് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ അതിന് ട്രെയിൻ ചെയ്യേണ്ടി വരും ദാറ്റ് റിക്വയർസ് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് മോർ നോളജ് ലേണിംഗ് ഓക്കെ ഈ കാണുന്നതൊക്കെ എന്തെങ്കിലും പിടുത്തോണ്ട് പറഞ്ഞോളാം ആണോ ഓക്കെ ഒന്ന് 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 അല്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒന്ന് നോക്കാം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തെങ്കിലും മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ നോക്കിയേ ആയ തൊട്ടൊന്ന് വായിച്ച് നോക്കി പറഞ്ഞു നോക്കിയേ ഇത് ഉത്തരം അറിയാവുന്നവർ കൂടുതൽ അറിയാവുന്നവർ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കുക ശരിയാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കുക അല്ല സൂം ചെയ്യാം സൂം ചെയ്യാം സൂം ചെയ്യാത്തോണ്ട് പറയാതിരിക്കണ്ട ആ ഓക്കെ ആദ്യം ലൈബ്രറീസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പിന്നെ എന്താ വിഷ്വലൈസ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ടുള്ള മാത്ത് പ്രോഡ്ലിബ് ഒരു ഡാറ്റ വിഷ്വലൈസേഷൻ ലൈബ്രറിയാണ് പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ എസ് കെ ലേൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു മെഷീൻ ലേണിങ്ങിന് ഇതുപോലെ ലീനിയർ ക്രിഷൻ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്ന ഓരോ ഒരു മൊഡ്യൂള ലൈബ്രറിയാണ് പിന്നെ അതുകഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് റിഗ്രഷൻ ലൈൻ പ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഉള്ള കോഡ് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പിന്നെ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ലീനിയർ നമുക്കറിയാം എം എക്സ് പ്ലസ് സി അതാണല്ലോ ആ ഒരു ഇതാ ഉദ്ദേശിച്ചേക്കുന്ന അവിടെ വൈ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഓക്കെ ലീനിയർ ഇതുവരെ കളിയാക്കിയതാണോ അതോ എല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം എല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം ഇത് അറിയാമോ അല്ല എന്നിട്ട് അവസാനം എന്താ സംഭവം വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ പർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് കോഡ് എന്താ ഇതിന് കിട്ടുന്നത് ഇങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവുള്ളൂ സോ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഉള്ള ലീനിയർ റിഗ്രഷനെ പറ്റിയുള്ള കോഡാണിത് ഇത്ര മനസ്സിലായല്ലോ സോ ഒരു എത്ര ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇൻപുട്ട് കണ്ടോ ഒരു ഒറ്റ കോഡേ വന്നോളൂ ഒറ്റ ലൈൻ ഓഫ് ടെക്സ്റ്റിന് വന്ന സാധനം ഇത് ഇത് പൈത്തം നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കുന്ന സാധനത്തിന്റെ കാര്യല്ലേ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി മെഷീൻ ലേണിങ്ങിനാണ് ലീനിയർ റിഗ്രഷൻ നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം ഇതിലിപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ വേറെ ഒന്നും കൊടുത്തിട്ടില്ല ഇപ്പോൾ ഡാറ്റ സെറ്റ് കൊടുത്തിട്ട് അതിൽ ലീനിയർ റിഗ്രഷൻ വെച്ച് ഫിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് അതിൽ നിന്ന് പ്രഡിക്ഷൻ അതാണ് വൈ പ്രഡിക്ഷൻ ഉള്ള ഇക്വേഷൻ ആണ് കൊടുത്തേക്കുന്നത് ലീനിയറിൽ വെച്ചിട്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ വൈ ഉണ്ട് എക്സ് ഉണ്ട് എക്സ് നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ എക്സ് ആയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും സ്പെസിഫൈ ചെയ്ത് കൊടുത്ത ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു ഡാറ്റ ആയിക്കോട്ടെ എന്നിട്ട് അതിൽ നിന്ന് വൈ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ വൈ പ്രഡിക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കോഡാണ് റൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തേക്കുന്നത് Thank you. That's it. Okay. Session is going to be done. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Anything to ask, you can ask now. Last. Not affordable. Not affordable. Okay. So because uh, first of all, this is not public yet. What you are seeing is not. You can't buy it. The second, this is going to come out as different products. You won't, seeing, you won't be seeing this. you will see some products which they will sell in a higher cost okay so first thing everything is not free second thing even if you get it it will be it will have some price cash you can do it okay so for example here they use tokens you have to pay some money then they will give you tokens tokens is equal to uh, the number of words that it generates no not crypto not crypto yeah they have dollars okay so next any any other questions within a uh, company ana yes oru endina ana question yeah number of characters number of tokens tokens nu parayunnathu avarude oru set of characters alla alla no they they are going to count this it it's it's kind of cheap actually okay in the case of a company or a, or a work environment but for a for a student or in that case it's going to be expensive that's all i would like to know the cost yeah it's on, it's on the website that's why i'm saying okay, if you get the result then you are happy right imagine how many iterations you have to do to get a good result mm-hmm. so that is the other side of it but still comparatively it is cheaper yes any any more questions first of all do you like this session Okay thank you. 
Okay. And uh, do you, will you promise me that you will start learning about these things from now onwards? Yes. Don't wait to complete your course, okay? You can finish this before your course so that by the time you complete it, you will have a large portfolio to show. That itself will be enough for you to get a good job. But I'm not, we are in a startup space, right? You can create your own ideas. You don't have to work for somebody because that job may not exist after some time. So think about it now. Okay? Think about your ideas and start developing it even while you work. Doesn't matter. And also you can think about working now. If you have the idea, these are like go to Fiverr or any website and sell your idea. You can still make money. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys. I forgot to mention somebody that is Arsana. Arsana is my wife. <laughs> she, <laughs> she accompanied all this way. Uh, so we are traveling from Kotem and uh, we are very glad that we are able to present this to a very great group of people. Thank you very much. You are a great audience. <laughs> thank you. Thank you Devu and Faya and all members here. You served us and you are kind enough to give us the access to this room way before our time. <laughs> And that helped us prepare better. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So that was really an interactive session, I must say. And thank you, Archana, also for joining us today. Uh, so we have a small token of appreciation. Deepak. And Jopi and Raj Mohan, they are totally handling the whole show and the session. Yeah, and uh, I really appreciate the audience. Like, it was uh, really interactive because Fire Port IT is always an in open interactive session. But over the past few months, like, it was not that interactive. And I am so happy that we are back on <laughs> track. <laughs> Good. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, and it was really, really, uh, like, enlightening. Like, people do not know, like, these type of things exist, right? So... It is really an eye opener. And uh, uh, how many of you are new to Firepower TT? How, how many of you are here for the first time? Okay, okay. So Firepower TT is just uh, an open, free knowledge sharing uh, platform. So, like it uh, started in 2013, and this is the 96th edition, and it also happens in Kochi and Calicut, and we will soon send him to Kochi and uh, Calicut as well. <laughs> Okay, and thank you Archana also, they came here by 12 and they were preparing for this session and a lot of effort went uh, behind this session and uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. And also we have to appreciate the <laughs> team members, that is uh, Raj Mohan and uh, Jopi uh, is in charge of, every month from our team, like somebody will be in charge of conducting the fire portity and this month it came for them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, despite of the busy schedules <laughs> of the project release and all, that is they were working behind it for the past couple of days. Yeah. And and thank you so much uh, for everyone who were here and also especially to Prem. <laughs> so, uh, he he introduced uh, Firebolt 80 to you, right? How do you feel it today? Will you be coming for the next session? Yes. 
Okay, good. So let's have a photo together. So first you stand here and I will take a, a picture in the, from this side. Yeah, you just come. Yeah. And then... Archana also come forward. So Archana also has some community that she is driving. She is also a community builder, community manager. Sarchana, do you want to? Namaste. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was beyond my imagination. I don't know he could create all this. <laughs> because he always sit in front of the computer in a room where, like he meditates sir. Even our family members don't see him uh, all the day. In a room, but most of the time he is there meditating and uh, he doesn't want any other, another energy to be entered in the room. So he, he don't allow us to enter the room and he will be there uh, like uh, searching all this, creating all this. Um, the before like Nyangna Kalyana going to one and a half year and when I met him, he was with a project like Kalagal Art Academy to provide the Kalagal, our native Kalagal to all the country, I mean in India. And Patan and Switch and I don't know like Otri Vaiglukupoi. Lots of projects he done and all was like uh, he himself labored it like failure, but it doesn't fail it, just started only. And this is first outcome that uh, projected for you. And Nila Kainu was in Bangalore Poi, and there was a meetup with the startup guys, and it was so fantastic. And this is the first program I am, I am him with. Like, Nan Koda Vannu, Nan Kandu, and Endaka Chedu Naladi and Ipla Khan and I am so curious. Thank you. Thank you, Faya. In the level of subsidiary, the Vari that is over there. Okay. In the Korcha, I like the subsidiary. And we have a concept called Tech Mohammedan. Tech Mohammedan in the original, Pudhiya technologies were in the Samayatha. Somebody should go there and, and attack it, make it, and, and make it available to everyone. Elavarkum Pudhiya technologies access aki koduka in the So I think that is, he is a Tech Mohammedan, that is who had made OpenAI and uh, these things accessible to us. Yeah, actually, I have a request. Since you said that, uh, I think that the OpenAI is about this. Uh, regarding that, I am kind of sharing. Uh. So we need to shout at them that we need something like we need to learn this, right? Yeah. So can we just shout open air or something that I, I can record this and send it to them? Yeah. Because you know what? You see the potential of this, right? Yeah. Imagine this, what this can do to, with your four-year studies, right? However, let them know that we need this. Because they don't know. And they don't care. But they can, if they know, they will do something about it, right? Yeah. And also we can use our social media handles for that also. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And yeah. Just, just shout it out, right? Shall we do that? Yes. Yeah. So, <coughs> what do you want to do? So, right now, right now, uh, let's take a picture. Okay, just take a picture and please shout it out because I'm serious. I'm after. Can we stand up?
Yeah. 